I'm Clay Douglas, and it's interesting to see how many of uh, the Clay Douglas haters there are out there. You won't be able to spew your hatred of me out there because the police, I've asked them to give me the honor of a citizen's arrest of you punk motherfuckers and arresting you motherfuckers on here, all of you people, the drum. boom! 213, boom, 919, boom, 402, boom, block number, boom, 809, boom, 920, boom, 317, boom, <laughs> boom, 406, boom, 509, boom, 732. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up your head, that's it. That's it. I've had it with you fuckers. The rest of you go to hell. Hello, everyone, and welcome to your Free American Wrap-Up Show. I am your host today. I am Jeff from the Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, Charlotte area. It's nice to talk with everybody. I'll be getting another co-host uh, shortly. Uh, for right now, I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of how our show is being reviewed online right now. I think it's going excellent. Let's see what the experts have to say. They took an oath to report on their favorite show. Mr. Clayton Douglas? Yeah, you dumb motherfuckers. It's been me. I've been holding and listening to your trivial bullshit for about the last ten fucking minutes. By some, they've been called controversial. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Clay. Christ, you guys are the most brain-dead motherfuckers I've ever listened to in my life. The real free American loves it. I got no respect for any of you. I don't give a fuck whether you like me or not. One group of super fans comes together to discuss everything Clay. You're dumb motherfuckers. I don't like you. Don't want your RAM. Don't want you promoting me. Don't want you using my name in any fucking respect. Welcome what? to the show. They are your free American wrap up show. All right, there we have it. Uh, a caller's been calling in since before the show even started. What in the world could they think the show's going to be about? They don't even know. Area code 631, welcome to the wrap-up show. Hey, am I on the air? Yes, you are. Nice to talk with you. Awesome. Uh, this is Anthony in the Nassau, Suffolk, Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Manhattan, Connecticut, New Jersey, Pennsylvania area. And uh, yeah, it's been great to talk to you from the boroughs and the surrounding states. I just, I don't know how I discovered the show. I discovered it a couple of months ago, and I think what really attracted me to it was, uh, I'm a big fan of. I don't know if you rem- if you're aware of this, uh, these old crank call tapes from a hundred years ago called uh, the Tube Bar, and it was about this uh, gravelly voiced older bartender in I think Jersey City and these guys in the 60s or 70s used to call him up and call for funny names and sometimes he wouldn't know they were cranking him and then he he would uh, he would catch on and he'd curse at them and it would be kind of like the same thing over and over again and usually I could judge (laughs) I could kind of judge somebody by how they react to them because some people will listen to them and be like well I don't understand it's the same thing over and over but some people are like I can't stop listening to this and I think that's sort of the void that Clay has filled Clay is really kind of like uh, the new red and the other thing I was just thinking about when I was listening to the wrap up show yesterday was how for the longest time Steve would keep saying oh we're going to have uh the morning brew or whatever, where we're going to co-host the show. And Steve said, I mean, uh, Clay said that is never going to happen. But in fact, by doing this wrap up show and Clay showing up, you actually are doing just that. Indeed. Indeed. And and that's the funny thing about it is this is sort of an extension of the show. We appreciate it. Uh, We celebrate everything free American and you're right. The show has uh, officially gone three hours now. I I suppose one more hour is left to go. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like I just called in. predicted. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, love the work you guys are doing, and uh, you know, keep it up, and I'll be calling in again. Anthony, it's great to talk with you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Okay, you too. Okay, see you, bud. All right, area code five zero three.
Area code 503. Nice to talk with you. Hey, nice talking with you. Thanks. Uh, had so much fun, uh, Clay. And I really was concerned. I wanted to get that website, you know, and find out those people I bought the, those those books from. And, and uh, I had a little trouble giving them the website. I don't I don't know if he knows the call letters well enough, but I hope he gets to the bottom of the people that sold me those uh, those bad books uh, of his. Yeah, no, I think that sounds uh, that sounds terrible about the bad books. I, I believe they got rerouted to Mexico. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And and then I guess the guy's house got broken into. But uh, you plan on Clay calling in today? You know, I I don't know. The invitation was extended. Um, one thing I say about our um, our our icon here is he is a complete one hundred percent wild card. Yeah, and you know, it, and and it's and it's one of those things where even if I was told that he'd be on the show, you don't really know, and it could happen at any time. I imagine he'd want to take a break in between his two-hour program and the other one, although some would say he takes a break in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, he never gave me his address, so I could send him the books back. So I think I'm just going to send them on Amazon and just try to cut my losses that way. So, but anyway, thanks for taking my call, man. Yeah, absolutely. You have a great day. Talk to you later, bud. Okay. All right, we have area code 609. I can never recognize that area code. 609, you're on the wrap-up show. Welcome. Well, for heaven's sake, the uh, the 609 call dropped. So we'll take area code duh, 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 area code 414. You've been holding the longest? 414, welcome to the show. Oh, was, uh, <laughs> what the hell was, was that, you listening. ignorant motherfucker? <laughs> I was just listening. I don't uh, who, know who's this on there. the air? This is uh, I'm sorry? Paul. Hey, Paul, Pauly what's Shore. up, buddy? Oh, Paulie Shore, yeah, that's uh, great. I've heard of your uh, your brother, the Jersey Shore. Nice to talk with you. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to. Yeah, trying, are you. Uh, uh, what's that? Go ahead. I was trying to get a hold of Clay this whole last past two hours, but he won't, won't answer my calls, and I, I don't have money to donate to him, so. I don't know what I'm You've got to money do to donate, so okay, well, excellent. Yeah, there seems to be some debate about where to actually donate. I I think one of his sites he mentions uh, quite frequently, and you'll get instructions at the top of that website, freeamerican.com. Um, is is that where you were considering donating? Well, I actually wanted to donate to your freeamerican.com. I I heard that's another way he can get the the funds. Well, you know, that's an interesting thing. Um, you know, there there comes to be some debate about that. You're more than welcome to check all avenues. Oh, shit. Okay, or well, not. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's I think it's very clear that um, that certain times you can, you know, very easily donate. Other times it's very difficult. But if you go to PayPal, and if, uh, if Clay does come back on, I'll be happy to uh, take your call again so you can get it straight well, with him, okay? I'm kind of hesitant on donating because I donated during that appreciation day. I gave him two different payments of 75 and 50, which is 125 bucks, and I never got a receipt or anything. I don't know what game he's running. That's crazy. Well, maybe he didn't feel you were genuinely appreciating him. All right. Well, I'm trying to get a hold of him so I could tell him to give me a receipt or something. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep calling. So You're I damn right about that. Hey, oh, thanks so much, Polly Shore. I hope you have a uh, hope you have a great day, and uh, see you later, you ignorant son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you. See you later. Bye bye. All right. Let's see if we can take this call. Area code six oh nine. How's it going? Hi, Jeff. It's Barry. Oh, dang it! You fooled me again. I always get fooled by that six oh nine, Barry. How's it going, my friend? Yes, I know, I know. Um, um, I'm doing okay, I guess. How are you today? I'm having a really good day. Actually, I, I, to be honest with you, I started uh, started to get ready for the show, and then my computer decided it was time to do an update. So I was a little freaking out that I couldn't start it on time. But that's the worst of my problems. Uh, tell me about some of your situations. I was going to allude to this. Actually, I was going to come right out and say it. Today we got some shocking news from uh, from Barry Schwartz in the Missouri area um, on two fronts. One of them involves certain uh, salacious activity, uh, and uh, the other one involves a, a, a very large life choice. I was wondering if you could expand on that. Um, yes. After the, um, 
after the meet and greet, when I lost my boyfriend, which I'm not going to cry about anymore, I prom- promised myself I wouldn't do that, so I'm not going to do it. Um, I decided that I was going to uh, try to get gender reassigned in surgery. And um, I went for a bunch of tests to see if it was possible to do, and um, I uh-huh. got approved. So now I am actually uh, taking female hormones, and uh, January 2nd is my surgery date. And I'm very excited about that. So when you that is fantastic like news. Now, yes, and when you talk to me now between January second, probably every time you talk to me, my voice is going to be a little higher um, because these. I, I know it, it, it hit there. Yeah, it kicks in pretty fast, and uh, so I'm going to be as of January second. I'm going to be Caitlin Schwartz. So hopefully Clay now will you, not you call said, me Now you said Caitlin Short, like S H O R T, or did I get that wrong? No, it's Schwartz. It's Schwartz. I'm still. Oh, Caitlin Schwartz. You know, I'm sorry. I, I should have known. Yeah. You're going to keep your last name. Yes. Um, uh, my middle name. Very is Bruce, traditional so of you. It, it, yes. Yes. And I, I, you know, my middle name is Bruce. I never did tell uh, tell Clay that, but so it's going to be Clayton Bruce uh, Schwartz. <laughs> Schwartz. As of uh, oh January. Well, 2nd, I'm, I'm sure you'll. Uh, I'm sure you'll be getting your your uh, opportunity. Uh, Barry, would you like to stay on and take a couple calls with me? Um. Yeah. Sure. I can stay on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds great. Uh, we've got area code um, four three two. Welcome, area hey. code four three two. You're on with uh, Jeff in Wilmington, <clears throat> Charlotte, Myrtle Beach, and the world famous Barry Swartz, Caitlin Swartz. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Barry. How are you? This I'm is, good. This is Michael. Michael Cohen. Michael. Oh, um, hey, Michael. My goodness. I feel bad for you, Michael. You had a visitor Michael. today, apparently. Quite a few, um, yeah. It it all stemmed from me sending books down to Mexico on accident, and you know that guy. He he seems to think that you you're in on this, and I I don't know what's going on. I was hoping that you knew. I'll be quite honest with you, and I, it's like I said to Clay earlier today. I have no fucking idea what this guy is talking about. <laughs> I really don't. I don't, have, I don't have a band. I don't. I don't know what the. What did he say? Something about a mariachi band or some shit. I don't have a band. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a no. florist. That's what I do. I, you know, I played in a band, but I don't. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't. I don't. You know, I don't like Mexico, so I sure as hell is never going to go down there. Um, so okay. no, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this guy is talking about. To be honest. Yeah, it could be a case of maybe somebody gave the wrong identity. And, and something about Barry's van, yeah. uh, Barry's flower shop van, there's a picture floating out there of uh, in, in front of a looted house near Mexico or some shit. Wow, that could be Photoshop. <laughs> because, I mean, I do have vans, of course. We have I have uh, six vans oh, for my, yeah. my, my flower mm-hmm. shop and pottery. But I don't uh, – I'm not into uh, people and stealing um, books and what have you from Clay. I'm a Clay fan. Yeah. I don't want to do anything to piss him off, but he he hates my guts. He, he I think I'm one of the people he hates the most, actually. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? I think Barry, he, actually, the last time you were on, on, on Friday, on, on Friday he, um, he actually seemed to get along very well with you once he uh, kind of got used to the format of the show. Uh, it did seem that way. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I'm really a good guy. I'm just a big fan. I don't ever – I've never said anything bad about Clay unless he says it about me. Like the meet and greet, he said he was going to beat my ass and put his foot up my ass. You know, that kind of thing oh, yeah. is just – it's you know, it's bad. And the meet and greet, there was a lot of issues, I have to admit. But it's like I said to Clay, I, I wasn't – I didn't start that whole thing. That was not something I initiated. I just ran with it, and we had a great – and it changed my yeah. whole life because I'm going, be I'm going to be a woman in a few weeks. So it's great. Mm. Yeah. Now, All right. Well, Michael, I, I appreciate you. Did you the name of the flower shop? I'm sorry? Are you going to change the name of the flower shop, you know, to Caitlin's Flowers? It's a good question. Uh, you know what? I honestly didn't even take that into consideration. I've had the flower shop so long. I'm probably going to keep the name because uh, I have had. Uh-huh. I've been in this for a long, long time. And um, yeah, no, I'm probably going to still call it. Maybe it'd be Barry and Caitlin's. Maybe I don't know. I have to I have to think about that. 
That's nice. a great and, idea. And you know but... the thing is, yeah. Go ahead, Michael. I was going to say, yeah, that's a great idea, but you know, good luck getting Clay to to redo all the the commercials that he did for the advertising, and he'd probably make yeah. it repay for the packages. Well, I don't. I'm not, I haven't really been much involved with with Clay in reference to uh, packages. I I have tried to um, advertise on his show, uh, but I, the last time I asked, he told me I didn't have a flower shop and to stick the pottery uh, up my asshole. So that didn't work out hmm. real well the last time I asked Clay. Well, that's interesting. Mm. All right, Michael. Well, thanks for giving your opinion. I, I appreciate sharing. Yeah. You're more than welcome anytime. Yeah. And I'm going to get to uh, – Barry and I are going to get to the next caller. Thank you so much, okay? Okay. If if Clay calls you, then, could, could you let me know? Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Good luck, Michael. Good luck, buddy. Okay. Thanks. All right. Let's see here. Um, we're going to take um, – oh, shit. This is so hard to do. Um, area code 503. Area code 503, you're on with Jeff and Barry. Area code 503, do you want to talk or are you on hold? I guess he's not there. All right. Yep, that's okay. That's okay. We got more. Uh, Area code code 248, welcome. You're on with Jeff and Barry. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Barry. How are you guys doing? Super. Thank you. Well, I have to say I'm a big, big fan of the show, and really one of the things that for me and my family, because now my whole family watches it, because I originally started listening to myself, and I realized really the kids need to know this kind of message of love and acceptance that Clay is so is teaching us all in such a unique and beautiful way. Uh, and Barry, I want to thank you because you have been so important to as a lesson to kids everywhere that no matter what Clay says, when you know he's joking with you, but all that hatred he has spewed towards you, you have always answered it with love and tolerance and open arms and have never let him offend you. And I just think that's a powerful message. Well, I thank you very much wow. for that. I'm, I'm just a big well, fan. You know, that's, that's well, I you know, because I think, Clay's, I think Clay's misunderstood. I think that Clay is really out there, and, and yeah, he puts on that tough face and that whole biker thing, but I just think underneath it, what you're feeling and what we're feeling is the love. I mean, it's just his love of humanity as, and his acceptance of everybody and all communities. It's, it's a really unique uh, show that we're all a part of, and I, I don't think you guys are taking it to another level here by bringing it uh, you know, into the wrap-up show. Just great job, Jeff. I appreciate that very much. Fun. Thanks so much. And I, I hope you have a great day. One just real quick question. Uh, and Barry, I know oh, yeah, you're, go you're ahead. connected to what, – what's, uh, Barry, you're connected to Steve uh, in some way at least. And I know uh, – at least I haven't heard from him, you know, since shortly after the, the meet right. and greet. And I, th- I know a lot of us are wondering, you know, where, where it's all going. So we're looking forward to that transition into the, uh, the new show, the, the brew crew in the morning, and, and we're kind of a concerned as to how that's all happening because we're not hearing enough from Steve. Any word on that? Well, I, I, I am friends with Steve <clears throat> to a degree, but let me, let me say this. I don't want to speak for Steve. He was uh, out of the country for a little while. He was due to come back uh, Monday, yesterday. He did not come back, so he is um, – I, I really don't want to speak for him because I don't know when he'll be back. I do know that the show is still as planned to start on New Year's Day. So hopefully he'll be coming back sometime soon, but I really don't want to speak for him because he's he's got his own issues right now. All right. Well, I understand that. And, hey, maybe uh, maybe Caitlin uh, can be a part of that show as well, the new show, you know? I sure wow. hope so. I, I'm, I'm very right. much looking forward to it. Great work, guys. Thanks so Thanks much. Appreciate everything. it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Have a great one. Bye bye now. Jeff, let me say this too while I while I'm on yeah, here with just you. Yesterday when sure. um when Clay was on your show, now I, I couldn't get on the show because I was uh, very busy at the pottery sh- uh, pottery shop yesterday. But uh, of course. Clay had said something about he thinks that I have a crush on him or that like I I believe he uh, yeah he yeah he used the term uh, you've got the hots for him. That's what it was. Yes, thank you. Thanks for clarifying that. I don't yeah. 
at all on any interest in Clay sexually. That is just absolutely disgusting. Just the thought of that yeah. makes me want to throw the fuck up. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. Two one three Higgins, you're on the line. Hey, thanks for bringing me on. Yeah, just sorry for everybody for being late into the show. It's a little having a busy day. Hi, Josh. No problem at all. And so is yeah, uh, Mr. Well, Clayton Douglas with us today? Actually, no, not today. We've got Barry on the line. Oh, I'm glad to hear Barry's uh, doing well. Clay was mad at him this morning, but hopefully he didn't get to you too bad. No, I'm okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, apparently there was a misunderstanding about a certain van of flower shops. That's not one of Barry's six Missouri-oriented vans. I have yeah, a that. I think that was a Photoshop picture somebody sent to Clay. And, and Clay is a little bit gullible when it comes to certain things. So my guess is he probably believed that I was involved in this, but I truly was not. Okay. Completely understandable. Um, let's see. Barry, do you want to stay on, or do you uh, do you have to get going for your pottery works, or what do you think? Uh, it's up to you. Okay, why don't you stay on? We're gonna take a uh, we're gonna take a blocked number here. Blocked number. You're on the wrap up show with all three of the uh, the trifecta here. What's up? How you doing? Very good. Very good. Uh, this is uh, this is Aaron Finkel. Oh, how you doing? Aaron okay. Finkel. Yes, this is Aaron, the 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 one that impersonated uh, Clay Douglas. Oh at the, yes, at we the know you well. Yes, oh, how you doing? Goodness. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> I know. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, how that's you all good. doing? Oh, that's that's yeah. You did a bang up job. Oh my God! I really thought it was Clay. I really oh, did. Yeah. I, you're a little shorter. Clay's six five, and you're only five five. So it it made me think that maybe it really wasn't Clay. But you, God, you look just like him. You must be like his twin. Oh yes, uh, like everybody says that you know, uh, uh, um, you know, because I get paid to be like a clown. You know, um, I'm on the rodeo clown. So uh, so when I got offered the job, I said, "Yeah, I I could be Clay Douglas." Wow, uh, Dr. Higgins, do you have Dr. Higgins? Do you have any questions for our Clay impersonator? Well, yeah. I did. You by chance reach out to Clay and let him know that you were the impersonator? I know some people said Aaron Finkel was the impersonator, but I'm hoping that you and Clay can just talk this out sometime. Well, well, I, I got paid uh, to be him, um, but for. Uh, um, um, you know, uh, I know he's a he's a, he used to be a biker from uh, the Ghost Riders and the, uh, also the Dirty Dozen. So he's a pretty shady fellow. Um, I I just did an impersonation of him. You know, just the one time. You know, uh, uh, I just thought you know it's some easy money because uh, I live off of SSI. You know, and uh, and I think. Uh, I think I I did a pretty bang up job. Wow, that's outstanding. Yes, did, uh, did you uh, did you get a chance to uh, to meet up with Jose and explain everything on your end of it? Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, I I just went there. I was told. Uh, I think the one who who called me uh, was uh, Steve. And I just went there just to, you know, get, you know, do a job, you know, getting paid for it. Yeah, well, that makes total sense. Hang up, job. All right. Hang up. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Well, uh, Mr. Aaron Finkel, I really appreciate you calling. Um, we'll uh, definitely be getting future updates from you. We may have future need for you if there's any appearance. Uh, do you just operate out of the Big Spring area? Yes, out of Midland, you know, um, I also ride a Harley. Uh, I have a Road King, but uh, I'm no biker. I mean, I'm a biker, but I'm not in the, associated with no uh, clubs. Oh, okay. Well, that makes total sense. Right. Yes. 
All right, excellent. Well, thank you so much, and we'll be talking to you soon. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Um, we have um, area code uh, 317 has been holding for 26 minutes. Area code 317, uh, how's it going? Welcome. You got Dr. Higgins, Jeff, and Barry. Yeah, this is uh, – I was just listening. Okay, no problem at all. Thanks, bud. Huh? All right, let's see. Um, area code 813. 813, hey, welcome you to the show. Yeah, just listening to this man talk. Uh, Jeff, Barry, Dr. Higgins. I'm just listening and enjoying, guys. Good job. <laughs> hey, thanks so thanks. much. See you later. <laughs> um, let's see here. Dr. Higgins, what were your impressions of the show today? Or at least what you got to see? Well, uh, no, I was a little bit disappointed. You know, where the the first few calls were great. Luckily, that someone was able to get through, stop him to play, cl- stop him from playing cl- clips for a little bit. But I hope that he can just tone down the clips after a while. You know, it does provide some useful information. But I would like him to do research before the show and just spell it out. Overall, the callers were great, though. Uh, yeah, no, I I thought so too. I thought so too. Uh, speaking of callers, let's see. Let's get to area code six one zero. Six one zero. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I'm just listening. All right, gotcha. Thank you. And Jeff, have we have we tried to call to just add Clay to uh, call his cell phone and add him to the show? See if he pick up. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, Let no, me try calling idea. him. Connect. Let me see if I can connect him real quick. I'm gonna try to do. Link. Are you in the chat? Are you in the chat room? Uh, the the studio. So you can. All right, he's gonna give it a try. Uh, Barry, how is uh, how is business as December had, uh, starts off? Oh, fantastic, fantastic! And then we have Valentine's Day, Red Mother's Day uh, shortly after, so we are really hitting a very busy stride right now. So it's it's a wonderful thing, and I sell a lot of pottery this time of year, also for the uh, for Christmas and Hanukkah, and you know all the uh, holidays coming up. So it's uh, it's a wonderful uh, it's a wonderful life. You know what? I have to agree with I have to agree with the doctor on one thing, though. I mean, with, with the with the clay clips. I mean, I, I like them as well, and they are informative to a degree. But I, I hate that they take up about ninety minutes of his show every day because I really like hearing him. It's great. Well, plus it, it's clear from this show that he's got so many fans that would like to reach out and just kind of share the message, or maybe get his message, or maybe maybe they've got a question they'd like to expand on what he's. He's informed us on his clips. It'd be great to get direct, direct, you know, direct person-to-person contact, but uh, that hasn't seemed to happen for some reason. No, I don't know why. It's uh, I just yeah, I'd rather just hear him and listen for him. The clips are okay, but we don't need 90 minutes of them. Yeah, I I think we're all in agreement there. All right, let's see. Uh, area code. Where did this one go? I have total new respect for Mr. Clay Douglas, though, because it is so difficult to tell who's been on hold or who's called. Yeah, uh, um, Barry, fill in while I try to figure out who to pick up next. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, I've got one right here. Uh, this is area code 240. Welcome to the show. You're on with Jeff and Barry and Dr. Higgins also. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Barry this is Don Cornelius. Don Cornelius in the house. Don Cornelius. What's up, guys? What's up? How you doing, Barry? Hey, to... I'm doing great. It's finally great to talk to you. I heard you on the very first Free American Wrap-Up show last week. You were, I think, the very first caller. So you you were like, you're like star status here. I mean, you're like the best first caller on a show that I hope lasts for many, many years. Well, I really appreciate that. Let me let me just say this, though. You're a legend. Let's just put that out there right now. 
Barry is a legend, and I just want to say, Barry, I appreciate everything you do for the show, and I love the fact that no matter what Clayton says to you, it never bothers you. You always handle it with class, and I really appreciate everything that you've done. That's very nice to say. I don't consider myself a legend by by any means, but I just I just like the man. You know, this all started um, when Howard Stern had him. I'm not a real Howard Stern fan. I'll be honest with you. I used to be, but his show kind of sucks now. To be honest with you, well, you know, Eric I would agree. I would on. agree. Riley Martin is gone. A lot of the guys from the show that were made the show great are gone. They're no longer with us. Um, so it's it's not a great show. But I started listening because of Howard, and um, now I just I don't even listen to Howard. I just listen to Clay. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. Howard's kind of going down the toilet. Hey Clay's guys, Clay Clay is on hold. Clay is on hold. Is he? Is he still on hold? He's been on hold okay, for a really, lo- really long time. He's 18 minutes, 432-271-8662. All right. Clay, is this you? I you guys can take his call. All right, great. Clay, is this you, Clay? Clay, you're on live. And he – it's 432. Clay, welcome. It's Jeff. Let me – where's that one at? 432-271-8662. Clay, you're on live. And that's his number from his website. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Yeah, is this for? No, hi. This is Jose from Casablanca. Okay. Oh wow. Oh. Okay, Jose. Great. Yes, I have a I have quite a bone to pick with you guys because let me tell you that I was I was recently deported after the whole fiasco of you guys doing that uh, <laughs> that meet and greet. Jose, Jose, can you just hold just a minute? Um, Mr. Clay Douglas, are you on the line right now? Clay, no. we can. Clay, this you're... is Jeff. Are you on? No, this is Michael. Okay, Michael, I'm going to put you back on hold. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah. I don't know what happened. All I know is after that giant party and man piling and all that stuff, ICE agents came to Casablanca and they deported me. So I'm now in Reynosa, Mexico. Uh, I am so sorry, Jose. It it sounds like it was quite a uh, quite a festival that uh, happened in the Casablanca. Yes, hello. And okay, yeah. So <laughs> yeah hello, a, Jose. Yes, it was quite a festival, a, a very gay festival, I may say that, if you don't mind. But I need you guys' help because I am about to cross the border here very, very soon. And uh, I'm about to make my way back up to the rings. And this time I'm going to see if Clay Douglas can help me with a GoFundMe account or something like that. Well, speaking, I'm pretty sure we figure out a way to uh, call a guest. Let's see if we can put Clay's number in and dial it and see what happens. Here we go. I will, I will ask him as well if he would be willing to help me. Oh, hey. Okay, I get you. I see what you're doing. Hello. Hello. Yeah. You're on the air at the Free American Wrap Up Show, the the Year Free American. How are you doing, Clay? This is Doctor Joshua Higgins. I'm doing pretty good. That's good to hear. Just getting my third or fourth cup of coffee here. Yeah, because we Clay, we wanted to call you because it seemed like you were on hold to our show before, uh, with your four three two number. Were you listening in before or not? No. I haven't called in. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I guess when one of these can trolls someone, is spoofing your number. Can someone give Clay the link to the chat? I know he was interested in the chat. Clay, this is Jeff in Wilmington. I, I want to make sure you get the chat. I promise you could have that today. Okay, let me uh, microwave my coffee, and I'll get back to my computer. And I think yeah. I've got the link for it. Yeah, I, I shot you over one right. on email. I figured mm-hmm. you probably had it, but I, I also thought you were busy, so I wasn't sure if you could call in. Well, you got me. Good. I, yeah, we're uh, glad to have you on, Clay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I actually wanted to let you know, it looks like just from yesterday's uh, show when you were on the wrap-up show, over 1,300, I think it's up to 1,400 people have listened to your comments, and I got specific feedback People really like the advice that you gave to uh, today's newer generation to question everything and 
and people are getting your message. So I, I appreciate that you came on, and now you've got another forum for your thoughts and your message because it, it's certainly looked up to. Well, I appreciate that. You know, uh, it's nice to be able to reach people. I mean, I don't do this show. I didn't start the Free America for profit. I didn't do it for fame. I did it because uh, I didn't like what happened at Waco. I didn't like what our government was doing. I volunteered to go to Vietnam, RA. I gotcha. I gotcha. And um, and actually, I, I've got somebody who said they've been waiting to uh, to talk to you about some some business. They said area code two four zero. I believe you had some business that you wanted to talk about. No, two four zero drop. Uh, Dr. I, Higgins, uh, what 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 uh, would you like to share with Clay? Well, Clay, I'm wondering, have you heard the Boom Remix song that one of your fans fans made? Have you? Uh, you're really catching on. I don't know if you've heard this song or if you do want to hear it. It's a pretty good song. It's catching on. It's got well over a thousand views. Would you be interested in hearing it? Can you hear me, Clay? Hello? It says, uh, oh, it says Clay's number dropped. Okay, you know, well, we can give I him a think, call again. I think it's that he put the phone in the microwave. I have done that in the past as well. Well, I can you give mean, him a call again uh, real quick, see if he accidentally dropped or what's going gentlemen, on. Gentlemen, can we, can we discuss a few things, please, about the situation that is happening in my life? Because it's, it's grande. It's happening... Mucho, a lot of things have happened really bad. No, is, they, is we will definitely. It, okay. Is is it bad that Clay. we're we're hearing from Jose yet we're trying to get Clay on? I I know you've been deported and everything, Jose. I feel terrible about that, sort of. Yeah. Okay. Guess I lost you there right. for hey, a second. Clay. Oh yeah. But yeah, we've been just uh, we've been catching up. There's somebody who claims to be Jose who's on the line too. But before we yes. get to Jose, we don't know if that's true. With the yeah. some of your fans are asking about the Boom remix. Have you heard of that? Oh, the I what? apologize, Jose. The your dance remix that some fan made. Yeah, I think it's kind of bullshit, but yeah, we may play I, that at the very end for you. But I think Jose has some concerns he wants to bring up. Yes, thank you, gentlemen, for giving me this opportunity to speak. And, and I am right now, adult, uh, Clayton, I am down in Reynosa, Mexico. I'm not sure if you know what that is, but I was deported after this party, after this meet and greet. I don't know if it was you or possibly, possibly uh, El Novio of Barry, because I happened to walk in when they were doing, you know, the sexual stuff. And after that, Clay, I... <laughs> I had the ice agents that come here. I thought they were delivering ice or something or ice cream, but no, they departed me. So I think it's false. I think I think you're lying to your teeth. I think it's no, bullshit. No, senor. So. The reason why when you call and you spoke to my wife is because I was illegal and we did not want any problems, but because you guys. Did all that damage to the restaurant? That's the only reason I called. And then you. I didn't called. do anything to do to damage your restaurant. I didn't have anything to do with that. It was I was going to fuck the town. Go to hell. Get the get this ignorant motherfucker off my off, the, you off your right. show. Okay. Oh, oh, Jose, I, I we got to get you off. I, all right, we got to stay yeah, quiet. And Sorry about play, that. Play. Have you? Are you able to access the chat room now? We just want to make sure that if you do want to access it, you do have access. I believe I uh, do. It shows I'm on air, so you got only you got 16 minutes left on this. It's uh, but I don't see the uh, chat room. I just see the uh, wrap up show. And if you click on that, that you should be able to have access to the chat room. 
that wrap up show with 16 minutes left. You got direct connect. Uh, don't uh, allow your access to your microphone connecting here. I don't know if that's uh, hopefully, that, hopefully that'll that work. That just for you. shows uh, my connected here, but I'm connected by telephone. I don't need to do that. I don't think I want to do that. So I can send you another link for the uh, for the wrap up show, so you can get in to the specific show you want to hear, and that's where you want to see with the uh, um, chat going on and everything. I'll send you a link real quick to the direct show. And okay. Is your email Clay at yourfreeamerican dot com? No, fuck no. Your free well, I apologize. I apologize. It has nothing to do with me. No, that's a piece no, of it's, shit. It's up these fucking trolls put up. Free American. I apologize. Play at okay, okay. freeamerican.com. I apologize. I should have known that. Play at freeamerican.com. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting that sent over. Yeah, we've got uh, another I'm, whole scam going on here. This, uh, some guy from Mexico got a box of my books, he said. Called me and told me about it. Said uh, he didn't know what to do with them. Said so they told him he wanted wow. to give them away, and uh, that uh, wanted to know if it was all right with me. What could I do with it? And I said, No, it's not all right. Let me see uh, who's doing this, what's doing it. He, I got a little bit of information from him. He was supposed to take pictures of the books or send me the books, and uh, he didn't do that. And wow. then uh, I talked to the police about it. And they uh, say? well, they said told him to take pictures of it, send it to me by email. Is <laughs> is Clay Clay is a four three two? Is that a that is it a Texas area code? Yes. Okay. They they said they've got information for you. Four three two. Yeah. Go ahead. Area code four three two. You've got information for Clay. Well, define what you mean. It's me, Jose, again. It's not... I don't oh, hear anything. Clay. Okay. Um, okay, I've got the uh, no. I'm on that link that you just sent me. So it's connecting. Okay, good. Connecting to the chat. Four three two Texas. You're on the air. Hello, this is Mike. Hello. Hi, Clay. Can Hello, you who me? is this? Yeah, I can, can hear you. Can you... Okay. Yeah, Michael. Anyway, Clay, um, so we we got the books back, and I'm going to send them to you. I, I can't meet up with you in person uh, because you told me, you said you were going to uh, break my knees. You said you were going to kill my Not if you dog. bring me the books back. Not if you give me the books back. Not if you're straight with me. I'm going to get you the books back, Clay. We we made a couple edits to the books, but there, it wasn't my decision to do that. We just shortened them down so they were easier to sell, and a, a few of them have been translated to Hebrew. Um, but I, I hope that's okay. But please don't be mad at me. Uh, we're going to get the books back. Okay, so please just please stop calling the cops on us. Well, yeah, Jesus Christ. You know, you're right here in Big Spring, I know. Oh, Clay? It, yes. It wouldn't seem too hard to get together. Well, if he wasn't a chicken shit thief, it wouldn't be hard to get together. But, uh... Well, I'm to meet up with you, Clay. That's that's not going to happen. Uh, you've made too many threats of violence to me, to Barry, to to the poor man. We accidentally sent the books to. You threatened his wife. 